Let us discuss a summary of the linear function, also known as the straight line. Before I continue, if you enjoy this content and you find it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Let's move on to m in our equation. m is also known as the gradient or the slope. And we are going to discuss four different types of gradients. In our first example, if I start on the left hand side of the linear function and I follow that function, I can see that I'm moving upwards or that I'm increasing my value. That's now in terms of y, the values are increasing. So for this function, we say that the line is increasing. And when the line is increasing, the gradient is bigger than zero. And instead of saying bigger than zero, we can say that the gradient is positive. In our second example, if I start on the left side of the linear function and I follow that line, I see I'm moving lower and lower down. So we are decreasing in value. So we can see that the linear function is decreasing. And for a decreasing linear function, the gradient is smaller than zero. Or we can say that the gradient is negative. In our third example, if I start on the left and I move towards the right, I'm neither increasing nor decreasing but I'm moving parallel to the x-axis. So the linear function is a horizontal line and the gradient is equal to zero. Let's say, for example, that this line passes through the value of three on the y-axis. And because it's a horizontal line, everywhere on this line, the y value would be equal to 3. So the equation of this line is y is equal to 3. In our fourth example, if we follow the line, we see that it's moving parallel to the y axis. And when the line is parallel to the y axis, we say that it's a vertical line and it has no gradient. And let's say, for example, that that line passes through x equal to 2. That means everywhere on this line, x would be equal to 2. So the equation of this line is x equal to 2. Let us discuss what is the y-intercept. So here we have a straight line on a Cartesian plane. And the y-intercept is the point where the straight line crosses with the y-axis. So it's simply the point of intersection between the line and the y-axis. If the line passes through the origin where x and y is equal to zero, we can say that the y-intercept is equal to zero. If the y-intercept is above zero, it will be a positive value, meaning the graph has shifted upwards from the origin. And if the intersection point is below the x-axis, we can see that the graph has shifted down and the y-intercept would be smaller than zero. Follow the function's playlist to get more information on the linear function, quadratic function, hyperbolic and exponential. I'll show you how to draw them and also how to find their equations.